Under the bright lights and in the care of soon-to-be professionals, the children and youth at this clinic are getting extremely affordable dental care. They are in the capable hands of students in Vancouver Island University's dental hygiene program, and this clinic is one of the ways that these students get to learn and develop their skills hands-on. As you can see, we have a full dental hygiene clinic here, and so we run clinics pretty much Monday to Saturday and we have evening clinics during the week and all day Saturday clinics so we have our clients come to us. It's crucial to learning to be a dental hygienist you need to have the hands-on skills it's not something that you can learn from a textbook and then go out and practice so this program is wonderful we get so much hands-on experience we are working in someone's mouth from day one. From right at the beginning, we were working on each other as clients. Though clients of all ages and from anywhere in town are invited to make an appointment, this particular Saturday clinic was about children and outreach within VIU's own community of Harewood. How's that feel there? You doing good? Yeah. Ultimately, I love kids, and I think it is about the kids and having a fun experience. Um, it's really hard because a lot of kids have dental fear and so I really just want to like in, at a young age set in them that it's okay to come to the dentist, it's okay to get your teeth cleaned, it's not a scary place, we try to make it fun and more than that it's about just connecting with our community. In a partnership with the Child and Youth Care Program at VIU, actually connecting and reaching out to Harewood's residents became another opportunity for students to learn through experience. We've had a great response with uh, the community. Lots of different organizations have been very open to having me come in and hand out posters and talk to them about what we're, what our goal is for this day and um, it's been received well by the parents as well. I have a wait list happening so it, it's quite a need within the community. The dental hygiene program is an intense two years of learning that follows one year of prerequisites. Our program is very full. Um, they start off by learning basic instrumentation techniques, ergonomics, how to hold the instrument, what all the names of the instruments are. Then they learn a lot about the medical conditions that our patients might have. So they take pharmacology, they take pathology, so that they can better care for clients with more medically compromised conditions. Before I came into the program I didn't expect to learn as much as I did. A lot of people don't realize that oral health does relate to systemic health. Um, in recent research oral health has been related to uh, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, people who smoke it affects that as well. Um, and there's also a lot of uh, recent research for um, high caries risk in the younger population. Okay. Can you know counties? Yay! <laughs> Monica says that students are currently experiencing a 100% success rate with finding work following graduation. The wages for dental hygiene is quite good. Uh, starting wage in the Nanaimo area is about $37 an hour and experienced hygienists get between $40 and $45 an hour. So it's a really good um, career for those people who want a living wage and uh, a position in healthcare. These students will soon be out in the workforce. To apply for next year's program, visit viu.ca before the March 31st application deadline. Or to access their dental services, call the clinic at 250-740-6240. In our program, we are students learning, so it is a bit more of a time commitment. Depending on what needs to be done, they may come in for um, two appointments to six appointments, but it is at a lower cost. The cost for adults is $35. For children, it's $20, and everything is checked by a dentist and or the dental hygiene faculty. So if you have some time, it's a great way to save some money. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Derek Johnstone.